So uh, today's project is called the voting booth and uh, this is a th three day assignment and we'll make it three days and um, let me get my, my little drawing mechanism out. There we go. And so uh, imagine three voting booths that people can go into, okay? And right here is, uh, you know, a little speaker or a light, whatever you want to say it. And this is our output. And these are our four inputs. And these have little sensors, either force gauges. Uh, so they either have force gauges or they have, maybe they have a, a, a proximity sensor, you know, so they can, or it's a door that's shut. So if the door is shut, it senses the door is shut and it knows somebody's in there. Uh, it assumes if the door is closed. So in other words, if nobody's there, we leave the door open. There's a lot of sensors we can use. We can use a, a like a limit switch and the door is closed. Uh, it says that there's some, there's somebody in here voting on the little machine inside. Um, uh, or maybe, uh, like I said, it could be a force sensor on the floor that senses the weight of somebody. Uh, there could be a proximity sensor that uses sonar and bouncing it back and forth in here, and it can tell if somebody's in here. There's a lot of sensors we can use. But these sensors will output a 1 if uh, if someone's inside. So um, I guess, what would you say, occupied, you know? So, so it's occupied or uh, empty. So if it's empty, it's a zero. So if these are empty, if it's occupied, it's a one. And if it's empty, it's a zero. And this output is like an, uh, maybe like a speaker, an alarm, whatever. It could be your buzzer. It could be a, a LED. And if it's one, <coughs> the alarm sounds or light turns on, whatever you want. And uh, the alarm is is off is zero so you know kind of more common sense for the numbers here uh, alarm is off is zero alarm sounding on is one and for all four of these we'll call them uh, booth a b uh, c and d uh, they sense whether there's somebody in them or not using a sensor of some sort and there's a, like i told you there's a variety of sensors and they're either ones or zeros when they're in there and the rule is no uh no two people can vote next to each other for security purposes or whatever. Uh, can vote next uh, to each other. In other words, um, let me give you one example. Okay, let's say, and I'm going to get a little racer here. No, nope, that's not a racer. This is an eraser. So if, um, if this booth is one, 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 that means, so if our four inputs are all one, that's the very end of your thing, that means there's somebody in every booth. Of course, this should be a one, right? Because the alarm should be going off because two people can't vote next to each other. If there's only one person in the booth, that's the, that's one of your first numbers here. The first number is all three, all four zeros. Uh, this should be, this output should be a zero. The alarm should not be on, okay? If, oops, uh, if, uh, if there's somebody here and somebody here, there should be a zero as well right here. Uh, sorry, it should be a zero. In other words, there's no rule broken here. There's a person voting here, but there's nobody next to him. There's a person voting here, but there's nobody next to him. So we're all good. So this is okay. So there's no alarm sounding right now. It should be a zero. So knowing this rule, no people, no two people can vote next to each other. And if they do, this alarm should be going off, dee, 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 warning the poll people that, hey, the, somebody's violating a rule. Somebody's trying to go into a booth next to somebody else who's already in one. That alarm is going to sound off immediately because of the electronics that you guys design. So now that you guys know the design and you know the rule, you can make me a truth table with four inputs and one output as usual. Um, now this this project actually is made for two outputs, but we'll worry about that when we get back from break. We'll, we'll, I'll show you guys how to convert them into two outputs, and they're not very hard. It's not very. It's actually not too crazy. Um, but so we're just going to look at this one output that has an alarm.
okay and it should go off if there's ever two people voting next to each other in other words if you see if you see two ones next to each other since you have your inputs a b c d if you see two ones next to each other anywhere then you know the alarm should be going off because that should not be happening there should not be two people next to each other okay <clears throat> so today i want a full truth table drawn up on the computer or a notebook whatever you want so if you want to do it on a piece of paper you want to do it in a notebook or you want to do it on a, a, a spreadsheet of some sort or whatever um, you could only do it on any of those and then uh, make sure you have all the min terms and then you have the full logic expression that shows you know the actual equation uh, you know that's that uh, for the not equation the full logic expression the unsimplified one the very long one tomorrow uh, you guys are going to work on simplifying it and then drawing up the circuitry for that so a hand-drawn circuit drawing of it okay and uh, that's about it um, does anybody have any oops so, like I said, um, today, 